Thank you very much. First, to Joe Gergela, Long Island would not have made the progress that it has made. Without Joe Gergela, he's been a patron saint watching Long Island for decades. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> to the other honorees tonight, to Tom Shardell, congratulations, Tom. Florence Fabricant, let's give them a round of applause. To Macari Vineyards that started in Queens, my homeland, congratulations on your award. We have a delegation of elected officials that this is their fourth stop today uh, on the wine and beer trail. Uh, Assembly and Senate colleagues of uh, mine from Albany uh, and County Executive Ed Mangano is here with his beautiful wife Linda. Let's give them a round of applause. to Dan's Vineyard, to Jim Trezice for his promotion. Uh, let's thank them very much, to McCall Vineyards for their hosting today. <laughs> to Josh Wesson for his great contribution. Thank you very much. Let me just say this because it's all been said. The wine industry is a great, great New York success story. We've worked very hard. We've invested in it very heavily. That's why my colleagues from the legislature are here today, uh, but it's an investment that is paying off. In the past three years, the number of vineyards in New York State has increased by 50 percent, believe it or not. 50 percent. That means, that means thousands and thousands of more jobs here in Long Island in the Finger Lakes, in the middle part of the state of New York, central New York, where we desperately need employment. And not just jobs at the vineyards. The vineyards are now major tourist attractions. And the two are working hand in hand, and it's having a synergistic effect economically. We had over five million tourist visits. We do half a billion dollars per year in wine tourism now, not just the jobs on the vineyard. So it's an entirely new industry. It's an entirely new industry that didn't uh, exist before and wouldn't if we didn't develop it. And one of the things Joe talked to me about very early on, and he was right, he said, a lot of farms can't be sustained anymore as farms. We have Commissioner Ball, who's uh, the State Agriculture Commissioner. But the economics on farms are very hard. And if many of them hadn't transitioned to vineyards the way they had, we would have lost them. And instead of having vineyards and open space and agricultural space, we would have had more developments. And they've really added to the character of Long Island, especially here on the North Fork. And it's preserved the character of the North Fork. So there are so many advantages to the vineyard industry, to the vineyard culture, and most importantly, after the jobs, after the economics, after the tax dollars, we just love our wine in New York. And we have a beautiful award-winning wine The New York wine has come a long, long way. Not only do we have more vineyards, but we have a world-class wine in the state of New York. Over 700 international awards have been won by our New York vineyard. So congratulations to everyone. We are going to continue to invest in vineyards and in the wine industry in New York. We're advertising more than ever before. Our philosophy is very simple. If you taste New York State wine, you will buy New York State wine. So we just have to get people to take that first ta taste. And that's what this is all about. Enjoy the evening. Congratulations to all the honorees, to my colleagues. Thank you for being here. Thank you.